So bringing to you something slightly different this week on the weekend roundup with just one game uh, and one win with the first team winning and the rest being washed out. We are taking the opportunity to speak to Chippenham and Gloucestershire's Graham Van Buren. Graham, brilliant to see you. Brilliant to have you on the weekend roundup. Morty, um, thanks for having me. It's an honour and a privilege. Um, you know how close the mighty Chippenham is to my heart. So, yeah, sitting here in a glass shirt, but I um, you know what it means to me. So, yeah. Good stuff, mate. And we should start off, I guess, by asking. It's brilliant to see you back out there on Saturday, but how is the recovery from the injury going? No, no, um, it's 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 going steady. Um, it wasn't a, it wasn't a great injury, so um, you know, also getting old now, so recovery time takes a bit longer. But um, it's wonderful to be back again. So yeah, it was um, it was awesome. I'm back in the Chippenham colours. I'm back with a with another win on Saturday. Was it a good victory? Good game. Yeah, no, um, you know, you know, it was a bit doubtful with the weather around. Um, but to get on the park, it was always never doubtful that we all wanted to get on the park, you know, and uh, just produce some some good quality cricket for the for the chip. And um, I thought we played really well, you know. Um, weather conditions can play tricks and mind games on on everybody, but um, yeah, the guys were hungry to get out there, which I loved. So it was awesome. Fantastic. Now we should say. Before the injury came round, it was a it was a fantastic start to the season for you of being named Gloucestershire's captain. Must be a huge honour to be given that that role. Yeah, no, looking at the names and the and the history of the club, you know, it's it's been a it's, it's a massive honour and a privilege again to um to lead such a great such a great county. Um, it was a tough start for us, obviously, you know, um, just being back in the first div after so many years. Um, a rude awakening, but I think um, I think it's for the best and for the um, you know if if the guys are brutally honest and you know have a look at ourselves and as a team and everything, I think it's it's just going to help us in the in the in the future. You know, fantastic. Now it's it's obviously must be one of your biggest achievements uh, in your cricketing career. But how does that compare with sharing the field with Chris Munden at Chippenham? <laughs> Yeah, if you if you would say to me six years ago that I will be a British citizen, um, I would be Gloucestershire cricket captain, club cricket captain, and um, that I'll meet up with Chris Munden, I would have I would have laughed at you, you know. Um, but yeah, actually, I miss the, the great man so much. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's just how it is. Okay, and our Chippenham season so far. Obviously, you've wa- I'm sure you've watched it from afar, but last year kind of keeping their place in the league. And now this year, at the halfway point, five wins already under the belt. You must be really pleased to see how Chippenham are doing it in Prem 1. Yeah, well, I didn't have that on my radar at all, you know, after, you know, we we, we fought hard last year to stay up. Um, and that was only with four victories. So already got one more victory than we did last season. Um, but that's awesome work, eh? I mean, the club's going in the right direction and uh, it's got a great feel to it at the moment. Um, I think it's a new era, a new era for a bit of um, for Chippenham. A nice, the youngsters are coming through and the youngsters are doing well. So with a bit of leadership and a little bit of um, guidance, they are doing fantastically well. So it's great to see. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and obviously we haven't seen you in a Chippenham shirt for a while. So like we said, brilliant to see you on Saturday. You mentioned, obviously missing the great man Chris Munden what else have you missed from from being out there with the Chippenham boys yeah my last game was last season um it was fighting for that last game against um the the mighty we were playing down and down and um to see who goes up and down and I can remember dropping a crucial catch on the boundary (laughs) the Lord happened there and then um yeah we nearly we nearly grew so that would have sent us down but it was awesome to be um you know, back back in the, the Mighty Chip shirt. Um, the team's looking fantastic. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm really enjoying the the youngsters, their contribution and their energy. You know, they're looking more mature. They're looking more hungry. And, um, you know, it means so much more to them than just rocking up over the weekend and just, you know, playing cricket. So the club's going in a, a great direction. Like I said, I think um, we've made some good good additions to the, to the squad, um, additions that, you know, make the squad and the team feel more like 
not I don't want to say professional, but just a little bit more guidance, um, um, which was it was awesome to see. So fantastic, and I'm sure everyone at Chippenham will want to know. Gee, they obviously see you there on Saturday. Uh, I'm sure the the plan is to get back into that Gloucestershire first team as quick as possible, and and for them to have their captain back. Will we see you in a Chippenham shirt that much this season? I would love to. You know, I. I keep on telling people, I said it today again, that um, I just I just love playing for Chippenham. I love playing club cricket just because of the fact of the, the people I've met. Um, you know, I can just I can just be myself and I can just, you know, just just spend a little bit of time away from the environment we have at Gloss, which is obviously professional and it's all cricket. Um, you know, you can just we can speak a bit of you can give a bit of gears to somebody that can give a bit of gears back to you. And uh I love that. I love that um, the part of it. So, especially a couple of ciders, you know, <laughs> after the game. Um, yeah, no, um, I, I, I really, uh, I love that about the, the great, the great club cricket, Chippenham, man. Yeah, brilliant. It's brilliant to hear you enjoy it so much. So we're gonna run through some quick fire questions then, G. So instant Morning, reaction to the hit me, please. <laughs> okay, first one: night in or night out. <laughs> come on you know that is that a rhetorical question no definitely night out well my missus is sitting here she's probably giving me the eagle eyes yeah. night in night in with a little wink yeah. Uh, yeah Captain Munns or Captain Silk <laughs> you could what, what have you, oh, that's a beautiful question actually um, I, I'm going to go catch um, Captain Munt. He's going to be more chill than Captain Silk. Captain Silk nice, is going to be, nice. you know, he's going to be That's drill be... sergeant, the general of the army. <laughs> That's going to be a big talking point after this one, I can tell you. Uh, yeah, Instagram know, or give me in, gears. Yeah, Insta or Facebook? Insta. Uh, scoring 100 or taking five wickets? <laughs> That's again, it's a muck. Taking wickets doesn't matter ever, does it? <laughs> scoring 100. <laughs> Uh, pizza or Chinese? <laughs> pizza. County Championship or T20 Blast? Oh, <laughs> County Championship. I going to say, as captain, you've got to, surely you've got to stick with that one. Yeah, it's good to win the Blast because the festivities, but I think the 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 graft you put into winning a County Championship is, oh, people don't understand. So, yeah. Uh, call or text? Text. Yeah. Okay. A few, uh, few cricketing ones to chat about some of the players. If you had to bet your life savings on a batter to not get out and all the batters you play with, who would it be? Well, obviously I'm going to go, I'm going to be faithful and I'm going to go with um, Chris Dent. Um, yeah. The man's solid. You can't get past the brick wall. So um, yeah, I'm going with him. Local, local Euro, Chris Dent. Yeah. It's a great shout. It's a great shout. Uh, for all of us looking in, one to watch at Gloucestershire. New new player to yeah one uh, coming through, say, coming through. I would say the the Price brothers, uh, fantastic players, um, great temperaments, and the thing that impresses me most about them is their work ethic. Um, it's a work ethic that I haven't seen in the in the past in England. Well, growing up in South Africa, I've seen it a lot, but uh, yeah, their work ethic is amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm going with those two. And then there's obviously a couple of more youngsters coming through that I really enjoy. Um, you know, Dom Goodman and um, Ben Wells. And there's there's so many more that, that are really young that are, 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 are you know, push, doing really well. So really impressed. Brilliant. Future's looking good. Okay, similar sort of question. And those you're saying at Chippenham want to watch at Chippenham that you might have played with? Wants to play at Chippenham. Um, you know, I've been I've been around now the, the block for a while, and it's just good to see, like I said in, in earlier in our earlier questions, is that the most of the young the youngsters are doing well, you know, they're coming through and um, putting up performances, obviously. Slady, yeah, it hurts me saying it because yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he's he's just he's just done so well over the last couple of years holding his own. Sully, um, you know, he's also impressed me quite a bit um, over the the last couple of years. You know, also during pressure situations, and then um, you know, you got your 
your, your really young guys that I coach in the academy, you know, the, the Josh Smiths and the Josh Burrows and, you know, you know, I'm just excited to see how those guys do going up. I think there's so much more in them. I think there's so much more in the, the youngsters coming through. Um, and I'm excited to see when they actually find their groove and, you know, turn the leaf and putting um, some unbelievable f- performances for the mighty chip. They'll be excited. I'll be the day. I'll be like, oh, yeah, that'll be good stuff. Number one fan. OK, last yeah. couple. Your time at Chippenham, you've been with us for a few years, which has been brilliant. Who's your standout yeah. player been during your time playing? Standout player? Whoa. Present company accepted as well. Do you remember just to? Uh, just to uh, <laughs> I was uh, unfortunate not to see you bowl, Wardy. So um, <laughs> I heard you were quite a menace. I would have loved to have seen that. Um, my favourite player and legend of the game and legend of Chippenham is Ralph Ralph Hardwick. That's that's my shout. Great shout, great shout. Okay, last one for you. Sum up your captaincy style in one word. My captaincy style, chilled vibes. <laughs> Gee, great way to finish. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Like we said at the start, brilliant to see you back out there and to see that smiling face around the club again. And we uh, look forward to catching up with you again soon. Woody, thanks for having me and I hope you're well and uh, we'll catch up soon.